It's recommended to calibrate the printer whenever you're changing your media type. For most media types, auto calibration is adequate. Please look in the comments section for a link to the auto calibration video. In order to place the image in the correct position on the media, you must first identify the features in the media you'd like the printer to detect. Second, you must make sure the sensors in your printer are set up to detect those features. Most media contains features that identify the start position. First, select your media sensing feature in the menu. If your media has a gap, also referred to as a web, or has holes or notches, select Gap Notch in the menu. If your media has a black mark on the underside of the media, select Mark in the menu. If your media is a continuous roll with no start position features, select Continuous in the menu. Please note that the label length on continuous media is controlled by the file you're printing. Second, set the sensor type in the menu. For black mark media, set the sensor type to reflective. For all other types of media, set the sensor to transmissive. Now, load the media and ribbon. Make sure the media and ribbon are fully inserted. If you have any media handling operations, such as a peel, liner take up, cutter, or rewind, please calibrate in those print modes. If you're using media with a gap, also referred to as a web, or hole, or notch, you'll want to make sure your sensor is in the optimal position to identify that feature. Move the sensor to a location.